While people are finding their way back, I'd like to read you a message that I received uh, recently from a former chancellor, Dr. Paul Elsner. Yeah! Some of you, like me, remember, remember Paul. He was great. He really, really was. Unfortunately, his health uh, is, is, is not good. Um, and so, uh, but he wanted to have a message uh, come to the faculty. And so, uh, through uh, some folks that know him personally, uh, they were able to get a, a message to me and they asked me uh, to make sure uh, that you heard it. So let me just read uh, this statement from Dr. Elsner. I came to Maricopa in the late 70s. None of the presidents had presidential status until I promoted them from their previous positions as college deans. My career compensation as chancellor started at $55,000, which I was glad to receive and ended after 23 years at about $120,000, quite a lot less than my successors. Because of my family's working class background and my mother's typical Midwestern cautious counsel, I was not concerned about the amount of my salary. My work to create a strong Maricopa system with faculty and staff was what was most important. When Dr. John Waltrip, former GCC president, was a faculty member, he wrote and edited the original residential faculty policy handbook with a faculty team close to four decades ago. This document was intended to define the roles, responsibilities, privileges, and expectations of full-time faculty members, including the meet and confer process as a collaborative and continuous improvement process. During my tenure as chancellor, I respected and trusted the professional integrity of our residential faculty and the RFP. The RFP guided my administrative staff and me when I was chancellor. Faculty prote protesters should know about the jewel they are about to lose because of the current governing board's arrogance and perhaps heed my mom's wide counsel. Be careful. <laughs> 